What's up, guys? Welcome back. My name is Tress here on Thumbs Up Broad, where we talk about buying tickets, selling tickets, making sure that you have all fun with your tickets. Today's Thursday, so you know what that means? Ticket Tip Thursday. And I got ourselves a doozy. It's a doozy. Today's Ticket Tip Thursday is brought to you by one of our very own commenters here in the channel, Sears Nevin. So they left the following comment. If my tickets say not eligible for resale on Ticketmaster, where I bought them, can I still sell them somewhere else? An excellent question. One that I think many of us ask ourselves every single day. Can I sell this? Can I make some money? And the answer is yes. Let's get into it. First off, if you buy some tickets, say on Ticketmaster, the first thing you want to go and check is if the event is actually eligible for resale through Ticketmaster itself. If you go ahead with selling it through Ticketmaster directly, you don't have to deal with delivering the tickets to the buyer. You don't have to deal with basically anything. Ticketmaster takes care of all of it for you. And that just makes life a lot easier. However, this isn't always possible. Yes, there are definitely events where the sell button will be available for you. You can go ahead and sell those tickets right away. But a lot of times it's not actually there. And you may be wondering why? Why is it not there? Why do they do this to me? Sometimes though, the event promoter, the artist, they just, they just don't want to enable ticket resale. They want people who are buying tickets to hold on to those tickets, use those tickets, and not sell those tickets to anybody else. Well, not today, not today. There is a way around it, but they're only in one of two situations. One, the ticket has the ticket transfer feature enabled, or two, the ticket is able to be converted into a screenshot. Now, not every single ticket is eligible to be converted into a mobile screenshot. I actually have a whole video that talks all about it over here. You can go ahead and watch all that. And even dives into the intricacies of rotating and non-rotating barcodes. Just a quick recap for those of you too lazy to go watch it. Basically, a rotating barcode is a barcode that moves or rotates. It's basically dynamic. There is either like a little moving baseball on it. There's a blue line going back and forth. There's a whole bunch of different features built into it, whereby the barcode is basically moving or being changed constantly, so you can't actually take a screenshot of that barcode. As a result, those type of tickets cannot be converted into mobile screenshots. So if that ticket ends up being a rotating barcode type of ticket, then just refer back to number one, is the ticket transfer feature enabled? If the answer is yes, then you can definitely go ahead and resell that ticket on a different platform. So as long as your ticket falls into one of those two categories, you're good to go. Now, the question becomes, where can you actually sell that ticket? Well, there's a few different platforms, but not all of them will support every single type of ticket. StubHub is probably the easiest place to go ahead and actually sell those tickets. They will accept mobile tickets. They'll accept mobile transfer tickets, mobile QR code tickets, screenshot tickets. StubHub offers many different delivery types, so you can go ahead and list those mobile tickets over there. All you gotta do, go in, enter the information of those tickets. Then when the ticket actually sells, you just simply have to do a transfer out of Ticketmaster to the buyer's email. Very simple, very straightforward, nothing to it. TickPick, that's another great option. You can go ahead, list your tickets up over there. Same idea, just take all the listing information from Ticketmaster, put it up on into TickPick, and then set it up as a mobile transfer delivery. Once again, when that ticket sells, you'll simply get an email where you have to transfer those tickets to. So you go to Ticketmaster, you type in the email address, you send it off to the buyer, and that's that. Very nice and easy, nothing else to it. Now, you may think, what if I want to sell it on a different platform, like let's say SeatGeek. SeatGeek is a very popular option these days, so if you want to sell tickets there, you can definitely go ahead and do that too, but there is a caveat. You can definitely go ahead and list your mobile tickets on SeatGeek, but it is a bit limited because you can't actually list mobile transfer tickets as a general seller. Unfortunately, the only way you can go ahead and list tickets on SeatGeek is by uploading a mobile screenshot of your tickets. Therefore, if you have dynamic or rotating barcodes, you are not able to list your tickets on SeatGeek. There is one exception though, and that is with NFL tickets. They actually are a barcode integrated partner with the NFL. So with SeatGeek, you can go ahead, and actually just type in the barcodes, get those mobile tickets listed. However, every other type of dynamic barcode, rotating barcode, not possible to sell on SeatGeek as a normal seller. So unfortunately, you can only sell tickets on SeatGeek if they're mobile tickets that you can get a screenshot for. Last one I wanna mention, Vivid Seats. Now, Vivid Seats in general are a great place to actually go ahead and sell your tickets on. However, they are a bit limited in what you're actually able to list there in terms of delivery types. They really only accept hard stock tickets, 
PDF tickets and that's generally about it for a normal seller. Unfortunately, it's not gonna be a place for you to go ahead and actually list your mobile tickets. You can't go ahead and list them as mobile transfer tickets, unfortunately. They actually do specifically say that they only want PDF e-ticket type uploads. So if you are selling a ticket that is a mobile transfer ticket, that is a screenshot of the ticket, I cannot guarantee that they will accept that as a selling option. Generally though, I would say your best options are StubHub and TickPick followed by SeatGeek. With all that being said though, that is how you go ahead and actually sell your mobile transfer tickets. Thanks again to Sears Nevins for posting that great question. If you guys have any questions in the future, definitely leave them in the comments down below. You may be featured on the next Ticket Tip Thursday. If you guys enjoyed this video, definitely let me know by hitting the like button down below as well. Also, be sure to subscribe, have no already. Great new content coming out every single week in. See you guys next time.